What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys. I hope you guys are doing well out there. I hope you and your family are safe. I uh, hope everybody's practicing social distancing still. And we're going to get through this, man. We're going to get through this. Um, I wanted to kind of just do a different type of intro because I actually shot this video a couple of days before you are seeing it now. I, the vlog was shot before I'm shooting now. A lot of things have changed. I got a cut on my nose. And uh, yeah, you know, it is what it is. But we did get some very dope sneakers. And I also did a little bit of cooking along with everything. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And uh, let's go. All right, guys, so we are in the building right now. Big Tito with me. We are on the way to the office right now as we speak, the Sample Industries headquarters, to check out some of the space there, see how much space we got. Because in the next couple of days, about a week or two, we have some very, very, very big, 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 big packages coming through for you guys and girls out there. And we have some very dope releases coming up in the next couple of weeks to a month so stay tuned on that as you guys may or may not know tito has been the one that's been running things over there at the headquarters so i'm heading up there with him right now to actually see what's going on and see how much space we have so that when this new stuff comes in we can kind of get things in order because it's going to be a lot of stuff but we're on our way there now and we'll see you guys in a little bit and i'll give you guys an update of what's going on in the sample industries headquarters so let it ride Alright, we're in the building. Oh, this is a new setup. Sample entry, so all our mail goes here. You don't know what it is. Oh, they got some new painting up in here. Alright. Is this like a little backdrop right here? Home sweet home. So we got a lot of space. We've been, we've been clearing out that where those warehouse cells y'all been seeing. It's been helping us get rid of all this stuff going on right here. I mean, all this stuff was pulled up. We got cleared out on a lot of stuff. Still got more slides, of course. Order them while they last because there's not that many more of those left. However, ah, you saw that? Yeah, more coming soon. Jeans, all in, hoodies. Got some stuff on deck, man. But all this entire space is in me flooded within the next week or so. So we're gonna have to move stuff around and figure some stuff out. I wanted to paint some stuff on the wall of this one too, but yeah, it's cleaned up in here. It's cleaned up. More slides in there. Free water bottles with each order. And Tito's about to go ahead and pack some orders up right now as we speak. Jesse, are you, what, sitting them over? Yeah, I'm printing them so, right now. This is pretty much the process right here. Print them out, print it, take them over here. Get to work, add a mask in. We're giving out free masks. We're starting out with these masks. And then we got some more masks over here. Where the rest of those other masks like that? Oh, all right in here. Okay, we got tons of masks to give out to you guys. These are the other masks, right? Yeah. So these are the these are these K95s, which are pretty much the equivalent to the N95s in America. And then we got these ones that you see me to go in now. These are all free. We're not charging you for it. But we aren't just selling them to people either. We're, we, uh, you order, we give it to you for free. Um, that's pretty much it. So we got some big orders coming through. Shout out to John Winsler. Is his name Winsler? Shout out to John Winsler. So Tito goes as he picks out everything, puts it here. I think we're about to do a big box shawty right now on this. Box it up, put them together, slap a label on it. Ship it out ASAP Rocky. So we are went through the office here and there's these two new buildings that are available right now. We're thinking about possibly purchasing them because we have a good deal on this one and this one. Sorry for the voice crack, but uh, they're getting a good deal to get both of these office spaces and we're trying to figure it out now whether or not we're gonna do it. We have some new products launching within the next couple of months, within like the next six months. A lot of new stuff is gonna be coming like a lot. And uh, for that reasoning, I want us to, uh, to expand, but at the same time, I don't like, like, I tend to find myself thinking too much ahead to where I'm spending unnecessarily money, which will eventually make its way to where it makes sense. But if I can just save some money at the same time, it's not a problem, you know? But we'll just have to wait and see. All right, guys, so we're at the farmer's market picking up some food for later on the night. We're at the Name, name Day Moon. So we're gonna go in here real quick and uh, make some things pop. 
Yeah, we just need to get some uh, plantains, sweet plantains. Right here. She said green plantains. She said get some sweet if you want, though. What? I don't know. She, I guess, because I, I mentioned it. This is what we got right here, y'all. That whole rabbit. Six bucks. You don't need a rabbit? Seven bucks. Whole duck. Mm. Black Quail. chicken. Quail legs. Bro, this is black chicken. What does that mean? I don't know. It says black chicken, bro. Why is he black? I don't think I've ever seen a black chicken. I do not trust it. It's like a damn chicken that was dipped in tar. No, no discrimination between the white and the black chicken. I'm just saying. Frozen pork ears, pork tails. Oh man, what's this right here? Beef intestines. We got the beef head right here. Oh pork? You mean a pork head? That's a beef head. We mean this? That's a cow's head. You cap it. What is this? A cow? It's a, it's a cow. No, I can't do that, bro. They got a fucking cow's head open this bitch on a mantle. Lost the tail. Shrimp. Shrimp salad. Shrimp soup. Shrimp skizzer. Seafood mix. Baby octopus. Live crawfish. I'm gonna. We're gonna do like a little pound or something. Like I'm gonna cook some live crawfish today. That makes her breathing more, bro. They breathing. They breathing. They breathing. They breathing. They breathing. They breathing. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want to cook too many, but I do want to try it. Uh, I know Nicole might want some too. Nicole hooked on it. Sorry, buddy. I think it might be good. I don't want to do too much. I want to get a blue crab too. I'm going to do a blue crab. This thing's bro. Cause he's real feisty. I like him. I like him. I'm not gonna take him home. You gonna run the day like that? I'm gonna let him live. Should I let him live? Nicole cooking a lot already, so what we'll do is we'll get a little bit more, y'all. You better stop. You better stop, bro. Stop messing with me. I'm trying to let you live, bro. After this. That was good, bro. Whoa, whoa. We're going to just do this. Alright, guys, so we got back home. We got these guys going in the pot. I'm purging them right now. You know what I'm saying? I actually got a pack in that I wanted to share with you guys. I actually picked these up from StockX, and that's the whole purpose of this video. So, you know, we got it right here. Cover up the address. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower, and then we're going to go ahead and unbox this, baby. So, let's get to it. All right, y'all. We got it in today. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have a pack in today, and these are from StockX. Now, we're going to get into StockX. More than likely, I'm going to drop a video on that. More than likely tomorrow. I, I, that video might be out before this video. I, I don't know yet. But StockX, we got a lot to talk about it. We're going to talk about it on this channel. And we're going to also follow up and do some chopping up about it on the Two Wild Podcast. So if you guys are not on that channel already, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button ASAP Rocky. I might actually drop that video on uh saturday but anyways I, I bought this shoe way before the whole stock x news hit you know and i actually got these for below retail yes this is my first ever pair of yeezys for below retail like i never thought the day would come you know these things retail let's just let's just let's just get to it hey 
$380. So these things retail for $230 and I was able to get my hands on these for $218. I never thought I would see the day where a pair of Yeezys would be going for below retail. It, uh, what was, was it? Are Yeezys dead? No, I don't think that Yeezys are dead at the end of the day. You guys know how I am. I speak my opinion when it comes to it, especially about the 350s because they've been just so many of them colorways and they're continuing to do it to the point where it just drowns me out. But, you know, it's just my opinion at the end of the day and we know that Jordan Brand is doing the same with the one, so it is what it is. But we picked up a pair, receipt, card, verification, a pair of the Yeezy 380 Mist. But we got a pair of Yeezy 380 Mist in hand, man. I could not wait no longer on this. <laughs> this is a pair of Yeezys I've been wanting to get my hands on for quite some time. These, and as well as the 700 V3s, like I really want to get my hands on all the Yeezys out there. And I actually like these. These look way better in person. This is the first time I've actually seen these in hand, like in hand holding them and everything. I've never seen a pair of these yet. This brown colorway is a dope colorway. I love brown, I love, you know, you know how I get down, man. I love the brown and uh, it just matches really well with any type of camo. The skin, my skin tone, this shirt right here, I mean, perfect. It goes perfectly with this shirt, doesn't it? You know what I'm saying? Look, bam. But, you know, I almost bought these on a sneaker website. I almost bought these on Wish at retail, but then I saw StockX had them for below and I'm like, wow, you know, hey. I go for the budget but these things smell good they smell good as hell overall this the build itself the material feels a little bit different than the 350 of course i know you know a little very very similar but it has a slight difference just in the build of everything the boost feels softer as well the sole feels slightly softer as well the the the, the plastic or rubber whatever is being used on the midsole regioning you can actually it has a little bit more give in it well, I guess I need to put a pair on. I got a size eight and a half, so I don't even know how these things fit, if they're true to size or need a size up or a size down, but you know, let's just find out and we'll know from evermore. And one reason then, like I have made a statement, like I've been saving a lot of money with everything going on in the coronavirus, just not being outside, spending money. I've been saving a lot of money. And I noticed a lot of people out there had went and said, bro, I've been spending a lot of money. Well, this is actually one of the first purchases this month of April when it comes to sneakers for me. Eight and a half, it fits fairly tight. My foot is at the tip. I probably can go with a size nine, but I'll be okay. Yeah, so these run, these feel like they run a little bit smaller, like slightly smaller than the 350. Slightly, like the 350, it's longer, but it has a tighter feel at the tip. These are shorter, like these, my foot is hitting that edge. They will break in, so I will be good over time, but I definitely will need to go with a size nine moving forward. But these do look awesome on feet. The bird eye view looks dope. Let's just do a quick on foot, man. So yeah, man, we picked these up. These are the Yeezy 380 Mist. They are on sale, I guess, below retail on StockX. You probably can find them for other sites as well. I'm not promoting StockX at all, especially with what is going on. You probably can find them for cheaper on GOAT. Who knows? Go check out whoever site you want to see or go to a sneaker store and get a pair for retail. So overall, the Yeezy 380 features a lot of the similar materials as the 350 Prime Knit Uppers. Um, the release date on this one in particular was February 29th, and I believe it was a Yeezy Supply exclusive. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and I'm, if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me, but I believe this was a Yeezy, Yeezy Supply uh, exclusive. For it to be below retail is kind of crazy. However, there was a 3M upper version that we know usually always sells out or, for, or sells for more. But it brings a lot of the same materials and same characteristics of the 350 just different sole design, mid, a lot of different design and structures and everything, but 
the same type of feel, comfortableness, and, and this look, that same Yeezy inspired look that came from the 350. These did also drop in a whole family size run, so there is a lot of pairs of these out here as well. I am surprised to see though, this thing being for below retail. It, but hey, I'm, I'm happy for it. Now everybody can really get their own pair of Yeezys. If you ain't got a pair by now, I don't know what to tell you. You, you sleeping. You sleeping. But these are extremely dope. I'm happy to have these in the collection. My first pair of 380s. And now I need to get a pair of 700s. I missed out on those. We need Once more colorways come out, we'll be able to get more of the shoe. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on these, this in general, the 380 model. Apparently this was the V3 of the 350, but they ended up changing a couple of things and then turned it into a whole new model itself, the 380. So I'm still waiting to see what V3 of a 350 we're gonna get and uh you know go from there i'm about to go ahead though and get some you know go shoot some b-roll so you can see the b-roll when i'm talking about this shoe and then after that we getting on them crawfish stick around if you want to watch it otherwise you can end the video now but moving forward let's get this crawfish popping let's get it all right y'all so we got them in here right now you know what i'm saying boiling up got them in a five minute timer started once they do that we're gonna let them soak and this thing, we're gonna turn the heat off and let them soak for about 30, 45 minutes. You feel me? So that thing, you get soaked in there, you get that thing to soak. I haven't ever let it soak this long, but I want it to soak for as long as possible to get all those spices in it. We got Big Daddy on in the living room right now, you know what I'm saying? Kind of messy in the kitchen because we about to start cooking some more. And Nicole got some, some shells she about to throw into the, uh, the oven, so we gonna be doing our thought this one, you know. Good little dinner tonight, mixed up food, seafood and Italian. Yeah, it is what it is. Back up off me, cat. I don't know you like that. All right, guys, so, man, look, I messed up on that. I I, I ate the crawfish without even showing y'all. I'm trying to get the crawfish a specific way, man. I go to this one sp spot that my, my Vietnamese homies, man, they make that thing. It's a certain type of mixture they do. I can make some good crawfish, but I need to find their specific type of mixtures of spices man that they're using um if you got any good crawfish recipes boil wise or whatever just let me know down below but we did pick up the yeezy 380 mist man and dope dope i did drop a video about stock x in general and whether or not i'm going to be copping from the moving forward i don't really know man times are going to get crazy you know the new fee and all that yeah it's getting a little rough out here for them i actually copped these sneakers and then I got the email like the day before. So I think I mentioned it in the video and whatnot about, you know, the whole fee and all that moving forward. But in two more days, that fee will be initiated. By the time you see this video, the fee will be in full effect, which was April 22nd. So I might be dropping this on the 22nd, actually. So, yeah. It might be my last StockX video. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on post notifications and hit that twitch bell the, the, the bell hit go follow me over on twitch um and all that and ig twitter tony d2 wild and i'll see you guys on the next one man it's your boy tony d2 wild checking in checking out peace